So it has been quite some time since we've had news about the Rings of Power, and uh, apparently there's a lot of stuff coming out about the show now. It, it, they're talking about complete recasts for certain characters. They're talking about adding seven to eight new characters to the season two on top of the characters they already have now. Uh, there's uh, previous Lord of the Rings actors that are completely trashing this show, and that's what we're going to talk about on today's video. So apparently, one of the actors from the original Lord of the Rings has finally broken his silence and decided to speak out against the nonsense that is the Rings of Power, and that is, of course, actor Bernard Hill. So Bernard Hill decided to come out and recently just completely, utterly slammed the Rings of Power. It's great stuff, honestly. I love seeing when people who are not paid shills come out and actually speak the truth about what they feel. And it doesn't necessarily mean they have to agree with me. It just means they have to speak what they truly feel. And in this case, you can tell that this man is truly speaking for what he actually feels and not what he was paid to say, like Elijah Wood, for example. So we're going to get into the article, guys. This one comes to us from Good Old Variety. And it says, Lord of the Rings actor Bernard Hill slams Rings of Power as a money-making venture and is not interested in watching it. Now, I think that's pretty much as straightforward as straightforward can get. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, that's how a lot of people felt, especially true JRR Tolkien fans, not everybody wanted to watch this show. There was a lot of YouTubers that were hate watching it on behalf of people who didn't want to watch it. And most people just had fun watching us watch it uh, and basically, you know, just destroy it in every single episode that came out. Most people had fun with that versus actually the show itself. And we're going to have a separate video about how Rings of Power has completely tanked to the point where it's not even in the Nielsen ratings anymore. It hasn't been for a while, and that's pretty pathetic for a billion-dollar show. But it says Bernard Hill, the actor best known to Lord of the Rings fans around the world as King Theoden, hits out at Amazon's The Lord of the Rings The Rings of Power in a recent interview with Metro. The Rings of Power aired its eighth episode first season on Amazon Prime Video this fall. When asked if he watched the show, Hill snapped back and said, no, not interested. It's a money-making venture, and I'm not interested in watching that or being in it hill said good luck to them and all that stuff but it's not like the real thing Ooh, <laughs> i mean that dude that oh oh it's so good it's so delicious it's just it's absolutely delicious i mean it doesn't get better than that and listen Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings movies were not perfect, okay? It definitely wasn't 100% to the lore, no matter how much people want to say it was, It was, you know, basically almost nearly a one-to-one. -one. I've heard some people say that. It's not, okay? It is, there's, there are blatant differences within the movies versus the lore. But the thing, the difference between the movies and Rings of Power is that in the movies, the changes that they made to the lore are 100% believable within the world that Tolkien wrote. Whereas when it comes to Rings of Power, every single change, and there's a lot of them, it's basically everything, but every single change within that that story makes absolutely no sense to Tolkien's writings whatsoever. Literally zero. It, it, is, it is a complete fallacy. There is no way you can compare the two. It is not even close to being the same. And I'm glad that one of the actors has finally come out and spoken the truth regarding it. So it says, Hill was then asked if Lord of the Rings franchise should have ended after Peter Jackson wrapped his original trilogy with Return of the King, to which the actor responded completely, yes. I think they were pushing it when they made The Hobbit. The Hobbit's a tiny book, Hill said. They did it well. They did it really, really well. They expanded it, but I think you can only stretch a piece of elastic so far. I think they managed it in The Hobbit because there were some really good things in The Hobbit without a doubt. Hill will never know what's in the Rings of Power as he refuses to watch it. The showrunners of the series have mapped out the five-season plan for the Rings of Power, which stands as the most expensive television show ever made with the first season budget north of $400 million. If all five seasons of the show get made, it'll cost Amazon north of $1 billion. Critics were largely favorable to the Rings of Power, with Variety calling series sweeping and gusty, while it's unclear if Hill's Lord of the Rings co-stars Elijah Wood, Billy Boyd, Sean Astin, and Dominic Monaghan watched Rings of Power, the four main Hobbit actors from uh, Jackson's original trilogy did support the series against racist online trolls who were outraged over the inclusive casting in Rings of Power. Amid racist backlash, the four actors posed for photos wearing shirts that features the ears of Middle-Earth creatures in various skin tones. You are all welcome, Wood wrote on Twitter. <laughs> you guys remember that? You guys remember that stupid fucking like it was it was such a stupid virtue signal. Like it was so obvious that these men were paid to to do that. I mean, it was obvious. Like there's if if it was so bad, if you really think that the work of Tolkien was so racist, 
Why did you take the role in the first place? Why did you? Why were you perfectly fine with so many white people in the initial trilogy? Why didn't you fight for black people to be represented back then? Why are you doing it now? Is it because your name is just completely forgotten that you need to be relevant in some sense of the word? So you decide to virtue signal online with t-shirts that some stupid Amazon employee gave you and paid you to, to wear? Like, what are you doing here? It makes no sense. And at the end of the day, nobody's going to believe you. Nobody believes Elijah Wood. Nobody believes anybody. Billy Boyd. Nobody believes him at all when they come out and they try to pretend like they love Rings of Power and it's the most amazing thing ever and we're such an inclusive space and oh my god, it's so good to see uh, diverse people playing in Lords of the Rings. Nobody cares. Stop your nonsense. We don't believe you in the sliders. It's all, it's so obvious that you were paid to say that stuff. And chances are, you know what's pathetic? You probably weren't paid that much. So you were willing to sell yourself for pretty cheap, I would almost guarantee, uh, just to get a couple bucks your way and to try to get your name in the headlines. So anyway, guys, I thought this was pretty interesting. I just wanted to throw this out to you guys and talk about the article. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought of today's story. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.